Division three now in the Minster Wildcats hold a sending a dozen girls or they hold a dozen girls state track and field team titles coming off the regional crown last week in Troy by just a half point over Anna the Wildcats poised to perhaps get lucky number 13. Of course, if Nan Stecholfi is in attendance, a warm day on the track. Girls 100 heat two is USV's Brittany Holbrook second for the heat, also qualifies in the 200. Wayne Trey sophomore Monique Goings also to the finals. Raiders had a nice day for the ladies. Girls four by two heat one, Spencerville's Casey Mulholland third, 147.68, they're in. Same with Paige Jones and New Bremen in ninth. Heat two, Archibald wins, Minster second, Wayne Trace third, they're all in. Columbus Grove just misses the final. Boys four by two heat one, Bluffton's Dylan Alt grabs the top spot, 130.27. They'd also make it in the four by one. Dan Fridley of Waynesfield gets the Tigers in. Heat two of the four by two, Mason Warnament and Corey Rossum winning the heat, 130.71. Minster's third. They're in. The Cats boys also in the 4x4. Four four. Minster girls top time in the 4x4. Four four. Speaking of Lady Cats, you saw Casey, Cassie Francis and Minster finish second. 918-37 in the 4x8. Rushi gets the podium. New Bremen ninth. Boys 4x8. It's Columbus Grove guys finishing second and breaking the school record. 8 minutes, .94 seconds. Riverdale third. Minster 11th. Breaking that record special for the Bulldogs. Being a state the first time for track, that was nervous for me. Coming in a sophomore, I got two more years to come out and do it. We come down here last year, we got seventh, and I mean, that was fun. But coming down here again with all the same guys and getting second, runner up, and getting the score record, it's just crazy. It feels amazing. I feel really blessed to be able to be a part of something like this and know that God's watching over me and giving me all his glory. Division three field events now. We start with the girls' discus. Columbus Grove junior Linnea Diller, big toss, 148. She gets the silver. How about Lipsticks? Holly Averish, too much for Diller. 148 feet, 11 inches. She wins the state title, was fifth a season ago. Boys high jump. David York of Rushi finishing his high jump career, finishing fifth on the podium, clearing 6'5. How about Blake Stevens, the Anna Jr., up and over six foot six. He earns the bronze. Girls long jump now. Fort Laramie Jr. Olivia Quinter, a long a leap of 16, 9 and 3 quarters. She's on the podium in eighth. How about Marion Locals? Ali Toby, 17 feet, 5 inches. Her longest of 17, 9 gives her a fourth place finish to her high school career. Now the boys shot LB school record holder Austin Combs, 53 feet, 10. He's in sixth. Spencerville senior Logan Vandemark, 55 feet and 3 and a quarter. He's your bronze medalist today. An exciting day in the girls' pole vault. Harden Northern's Mackenzie Shepard up and over 10 feet six. She finishes in seventh place. That's a podium finish. How about Minster's Maria Heckman busy with the relays? Silver medal on the pole vault, clearing 12 feet. She's your state runner up. We stay with the pole vault. Boys turn. Bluffton's Clay Wilson over the bar at 14 feet. He finishes in sixth place. But Anna's Logan Conce, the state. Leader for a reason, 15-8 wins the gold medal in his sophomore season. To the boys' discus now, Reese Roney from Columbus Grove, 154 feet, 7 inches. That's good for sixth place. How about Arcadia's Shea Watkins, throw of 169 and 10. He is your silver medalist. To the girls' high jump now, Lincoln Views, Hannah McCleary clearing 5-2. She ends up clearing 5-4 to get on the podium in sixth. Audeville's Brooke Mangus, the bar at 5-2. No trouble here. She'd go all the way up to 5-8, attempted a state record of 5-9, didn't get it. She still wins the state title on the girls' high jump as a sophomore. Back to the pit, you see B.J. Lawson of LB jumping 21 feet, 8.5, finishes fifth. Spencerville's Trevor McMichael jumps 22 feet. He's the bronze medalist. We finished with the girls' shot put. Linnea Diller doing battle with Averish again. Diller's third this time, 42 feet, 2.5, but the Lipsick senior gets her second gold of the day, a long toss of 43 feet four. Girls discus champ, girls shot put champ. What a day for Holly representing the Lady Bikes. Athletic director just informed me that um, this is the first time that a girl from Lipsick has been a state champ. So it's pretty awesome leaving Lipsick knowing that I started like a legacy, I guess you could say. I think I did my best. I had a really good jump at 12-4 or at 12, and breaking my pole in my first attempt at 12-4 didn't help at all. But I think I battled through it. Yeah, I'm very excited. I haven't got 5-8 for a place, long time, Isaiah so Pritchard it felt really good to get it again. I really wanted inches. the record, but I mean, there's always next year. It's